So this will be part two of my coverage of uh, the Seth Rich uh, murder mystery that occurred two years ago uh, at this time, this weekend, two years ago in Washington, D.C. Uh, shots ring out at night is the story that we're told. Uh, to understand this video, you have to watch the uh, previous coverage that I did. I did a video yesterday where I formulate a theory on where Seth Rich is. And I stand by it. I want to do some clarification in this video and uh, continue on with the, the the thought. First of all, look down into the um, box down below and you'll see two crime scenes that I found. They're one minute videos. I think one was shot by ABC. The other one was shot by the New York Times. And study those crime scenes. How when someone gets shot in the middle of the street, the how the police converge I mean I live in New York City and it's not uncommon to see a crime scene happen and the last thing they do is move that body all the police have to come the captains the detectives you see all the suits show up they they they, they round off the uh, block off the the scene with that yellow tape do not cross right caution police right Watch the two videos. One is shot at night, so that's no excuse. And the other one is shot in broad daylight, and you hear people, you see pedestrians. It's common sense, right? Someone gets shot, right? But with the Seth Rich case, there's no, none of that. And we're expected to believe that. We're expected to believe that a murder occurred. Two shots ring out in Washington, D.C., and a murder occurred. Now, why is it, why am I bringing this up two years later, right? Because good investigative reporting is in the follow-up, right? Because the FBI has told the public all along that, oh, we're investigating, we're still investigating, we're going to find out stuff, right? There's, there's been no, no, no initial findings. They basically dropped the case. And that's where the Ron Wheeler investigation comes in, because Ron Wheeler, in fact, did follow it up. And you know put evidence in the record testimony in the record that suggests that the DC police in fact backed off on the suggestion of the FBI they were told to stand off so that seems to be true now right what would you believe do you believe that Ron Wheel is telling you that the FBI was told to back off or do you believe that that um, it was a botched robbery on the streets of DC and all the cameras in the world everybody's got a camera in their pocket people have cameras on their on their doorsteps people have you know that, that nobody saw a fucking thing right that's what we're expected to believe right there's no footage there's no video footage there's nothing no ballistic report no no autopsy right Right, and that's a and, and then the media wants to spin it into a right wing conspiracy. Where's CNN, CNN, MSNBC? Where's Where's CNN? Where's Fox News on the ground? Where are the Where are they to report this story? The only one who did it was Hannity, and he got ca castrated. So, but that's I, again, I'm not I'm not irate with the mainstream media. We know who they are. They're they're part of the operate they're part of the operation right they're, they're operatives now right they've been co-opted compromised and now they they follow their orders right so you have to watch you know watch the watch the videos of the crime scenes and you you make it up for you you, you determine for yourself so there's a couple of things I want to clarify some people thought that I was saying that that Seth Rich was a Russian operative no I didn't I didn't say that I said that Seth Rich is likely to have been approached by the FBI or whoever approached him, whatever power, whatever, whatever power brokers approached him, right, and told him that because he was the leaker, that if you don't play ball, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna charge you with, with feeding information to Russia. We're going to get caught. We got the story. Yeah, we got evidence. Right? It's a made-up story. I'm not saying that that Seth Rich was a Russian agent. No. All evidence suggests, all the testimony and the record, all his friends suggest that Seth Rich was just a Bernie Sanders supporter like the rest of us. And he happened to work inside the DNC. And, and he, he happened to see the corruption like everybody else. And somehow he had access to the 
Podesta's emails or somehow they got that, uh, the, the, you know, it, again, the, 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 the Awan case, right? Imran Awan, there was people with passwords all over the place, right? So to access the DNC servers and the DNC information, it's not, a, it's not unrealistic that Seth Rich or somebody like that got that information and dumped it off to WikiLeaks and exposed it, right? So the damage control is the Russia story, right? Because they got caught rigging an election, right? At that time, 2016, people were still... That was still way out there. Like, no, they couldn't have rigged an election. But now we know it to be true, right? So, so that's one clarification. I know I'm not. I, I didn't imply. I didn't want. I didn't want people to think that I implied that Seth Rich was a Russian agent, giving information to the Russians to, to, to uh, as, as a form of espionage or spying. No, Seth Rich was a patriot who who exposed the corruption and then was approached by the people he exposed, and was was they were preparing to frame him as a as a Russian spy. Just like they did with Assange, or what they're doing with Assange. They even said Bernie Sanders is a Russian agent. Jewel, you know, uh, Jill Stein is a Russian agent. Everybody's a fucking Russian agent. Anybody who doesn't play, play ball or exposes the oligarchy is a Russian agent. That's where, that's where, that was the beginning part of it. And Seth Rich got his foot caught right in the middle of it by, by uh, exposing it uh, right before the Democratic national convention where the power brokers you know the the oligarchy was prepared to spend a billion dollars to execute their pi piper strategy to elevate donald trump and make hillary clinton the victor right and it failed right that strategy failed so i think that's all i wanted to say i had something else about that but um but no oh, let me just let me just elaborate a little more on my my theory that that uh with the family that's what i wanted to say because i think that i think that that family i'm shocked that, that i was the first one to observe in that family video shot two years ago that that video had been out for a while and i did observe i think i was the first one to observe the father actually mouthing the words i don't think anybody ever caught that before All right so that's kind of that's kind of breaking news right that the father was actually you could see that it's you see now in hindsight that it was actually crises management no grief. There's no grief. The kid in the front is looks like he's ready to bust that laugh, and it looks like they ran that script six, seven times. So that leads us to to to, to another area that we need to investigate. Did Seth Rich's family cover it up? I don't know. It looks like it, right? It looks like it. If anybody knows the family, I think we need to talk to them. Not to Ron Wheeler, not to Bauman and Berkman and the rest of the jerk-off, you know, crises manager people that the DNC put on on the case. Forget about those people. Go right to the family. And the other thing someone brought up is that, yes, I know that Seth Rich, there is a tombstone out somewhere in his hometown with his name on it. But there's no evidence to suggest that his body is buried there. So, <laughs> do we want to dig up a grave? <laughs> I, I don't know, but there's got to be some way of confirming if if a if a funeral or a dig actually occurred there, right? Right? Go, somebody confirm that, right? Because if that's if that's all, whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> the truth train. I just sat on a bench. I almost fell on my fucking ass. <laughs> hey, it's live TV, man. I don't edit. Right. <laughs> Let me catch my breath, man. That was scared the shit out of me. I thought I was gonna. I thought it was fucking gonna hit the ground. All right, <laughs> all right. I'm back. So, so Seth Rich. I almost ended up in the grave with him, right? Seth Rich, fucking Seth Rich. So, um, is there is there a body in that in that hole, Seth Rich family? Is there a body in the hole? Did anybody see the body go down? Where's the grave digger? Where's the grave digger? What day did he? What day did they dig that hole? Where's the grave? Let's see it. Are we being harsh? No. Democracy is on the line here. If, you, if, if the family covered it up, they better come forward. Right? Right? Democracy on the line here. So, those are the, those are the two things. Do I think that 
I, 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 I pretty much am sure that Seth Rich was either alive at the time of the recording where that family is is uh, being being asked questions about the, the thing and show no grief whatsoever about the incident. Only three days, like less than 72 hours after the murder of their son, and there's no, there's no, there's no emotion, there's no grief. That deep sense of, of, of grief and, and, and despair that you feel when you lose a loved one, right? That's a human, it's human nature. But what that shows is a cover-up. That, that behavior says that, that Seth, they either spoke to Seth or saw him some kind of video conference and they were convinced that he was in trouble right that that his legacy as the father says his legacy of being a go a do-gooder at the DNC was now going to be tarnished by him being a spy like he was going to become another Chelsea Manning or, or a you know a Edward Snowden where he exposes deep corruption and sits in jail for 30 years for something that, that that he was actually a patriot, right? <laughs> that's why the family. That's why the family was, was is good with the story, right? That's why the and that's how the FBI, CIA, whoever put it, put them up to it. That's how they got their story, and that that story sticks. But what doesn't stick, and what the American people still have been conditioned to to accept, is is fake fake incidences. The crime scene, there's no crime scene, there's no documented crime scene, there's no ballistic reports, there's no hospital reports, there's, there's, there's nothing. It never, although Seth Rich, I believe, was shuffled off and ultimately killed by the same brokers that cut the deal with his family that someday you'll see him again. Someday, that's what the mob does, you know, someday he'll, he'll come back and... And, and, we'll be, and that's what they're doing, they're buying time. Because five years from now, the family comes out and says, oh, we had a deal with the FBI. And they look like kooks, crazy people, right? They got fucked. The family got totally fucking bush, hoodwinked, right? Totally hoodwinked, all right? They think that if they say anything that Seth Rich's life is in danger, right? Shh! It's a brilliant play. It's a brilliant play. I think there's probably even a word, a term for it, but or or a CIA manual for this sort of operation. But I believe that that, that is the ultimately that is the play, and I can't. I, I think it's indisputable at this time. So, my name is Marcus Conti on this um, Seth Rich, uh, the second anniversary of Seth Rich mystery murder. Right. It happened, but it didn't happen the way they said it happened. Peace out.